The Jewish Community Council of Pelham Parkway held their annual breakfast at the Bronx House Community Center, honoring leaders across the borough for their work both here and abroad, with special guests including D.A. Darcel Clark and Rabbi Michael Miller, CEO of the Jewish Community Relations Council. Special honors went to New York City Council Member Mark Joni for his work in building the organization's food pantry that also serves the Bronx's Albanian community, community that continues to receive international national recognition for its role in providing refuge for those fleeing Nazi Germany in World War II. Originally from Albania, Joan I, with dignitaries there at the breakfast, announced the opening of a museum and synagogue to commemorate this critical time in that nation's history. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members, whether in the Bronx, Albania, Kosovo, or Israel. Let's build on these principles, recognize each other for who we are, and work toward the betterment of our communities, peace, and humanity. There were more Jews in Albania after the war than before the war. No other country in Europe can claim that. We are able to do tremendous work for people on a daily basis. From immediate assistance to long-term care senior social worker Sandy Zelniker provided guests with an inside look at some of the work they do. What happens at 445 when a woman in her 30s walks into the office with a black eye? It appears she's clearly been beaten up. She says she fell, she needs food, I take her into my office. Both New York State Assemblywoman Natalia Fernandez and New York State Senator Alessandra Biaggi were also recognized for supporting programs that work to provide critical care to the Bronx's Jewish community, many of whom are elderly and not aware of the many services available due to their work schedule in Albany. Representatives were there to accept on their behalf. Thank you to all my friends. And publisher of the Bronx Times reporter Laura Guerrero also received applause for her work in covering the borough's Jewish community, both in Riverdale and along Pelham Parkway. Thanks to the uh, JCP for reminding our readers that there's organizations out there who strive to improve the quality of life of our borough. Receiving the organization's Young Leadership Award was Rabbi Yisak Gross. The Jewish Community Council of Pelham Parkway presents its Young Leadership Award to Rabbi Yitzhak Gross for the vital contribution he makes to Jewish life in our Bronx community. I'd like to thank the Jewish Community Council of Pelham Park, Parkway for giving me this award. With the Bronx's Jewish population at its highest in 1937, when about 592,000 called the Bronx home, those numbers are much less today, with the 2011 census count showing there are 54,000. Despite this, Riverdale's Rabbi Miller's role as a national and international voice against religious-based violence has risen. Whether it's terrorism here in the U.S., in Israel, or in other parts of the world, he has been there to educate the public on Jewish religion and tradition, all while spreading the message of tolerance among religions. He is backed by his community and being vigilant to ensure that all Bronx communities thrive. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.